So much has been said about the alleged delay of the Southeast governors to set up a regional security outfit to contain rising insecurity in the zone. Critics say they created the vacuum that enabled the indigenous people of Biafra to establish its security outfit named Eastern Security Network, thus creating unnecessary tension and loss of lives. They also claim governors were unable to do what their counterparts in the Southwest have done because of personal or political interests. What such critics don't know is that the delay may have been because of personal disagreements more than suspected external pressure on them. Sentry learned, for instance, that at one recent meeting in Enugu, two governors sharply disagreed over the type of security outfit that would be good for the zone. The source says one of them was so upset with the idea, the other advanced that he confronted him personally as the two made to leave the venue of the meeting. The other governor, also angry at his colleagues' expressed views, did not hide his feelings. As sources put it, it was a bitter encounter. Their excellencies exchanged heavy hot words before they left. He said, I cannot tell you exactly what they said to each other, but it amounted to shouting at one another. It was all about their different views on the type of regional security outfit that would serve the Southeast region. While one wanted something novel, the other said what he had in his state was working and should be adopted by all in the region. But now that General Obi Umahi retired, the leader of the Southeast Security Committee has said all is set to flag off the much-awaited regional security outfit. It remains to be seen if the governors have fully resolved their differences. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular this story as it were, bitter uh, encounter ensued between two uh, evil, uh, Eastern governors who shouted at each other all in the bid to impose themselves or impose their idea or impose their own position on the people. Well, it is what it is. It is not out of place that you know there will be disagreement on issues like this. It is welcomed, it is normal. But the issue is, you believe that at this level there should be decorum and there should be proper ways of handling issues or channeling ideas. You may not agree with mine, I may not agree with yours, but we can, you know, maturely um, respect each other's views and uh, our opinion and also uh, relate it as it were. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Be that as it is, what could have actually led to the uh, bitter encounter between the two governors as alleged or as uh, reported? It definitely would have to be personal interest. And that is, to a very large extent, you see why the people in the Southeast are going through so much. Personal interest. Personal interest. They find it difficult to allow other ideas or other people to have a say or have a go, and um, it is really, really uh, disappointing. Everybody wants to impose themselves or impose their idea or impose their uh, belief on others, which definitely shouldn't be so. But however, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. 
up until now, they are still mooting on the regional security outfit. The question is, by the time they come up with this regional security outfit, what happens to the Eastern Security Network? That is another question. What happens to the Eastern Security Network? What? And the Eastern Security Network, according to Nam Kano, has come to stay. And according to some other groups, has come to stay. And nothing will stop the Eastern Security Network from operating. So now, there's going to be clashes of interest. There's going to be a double security, as it were. But well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Since the Southeast region has insisted that they are setting up their own Eastern sec their own net uh, security network, we hope that there will not be clashes between theirs and that of the Eastern Security Network. Although they are not, up they probably might not be operating in the same or within the same arena, since the Eastern Security Network are mainly operating in the bushes and forests. But we don't know what the mandate of the new security outfit that the governors are putting up together, we don't know what their mandates are and what they are looking to achieve. But however, regardless, one would imagine and suspect that there probably might be one or two <clears throat> clashes or confrontations here and there between uh, the Eastern Security Network and the Eastern the Network Security Network of the governors. The question is, why has it taken them this long? Why are they not complementing, supporting, or backing the Eastern Security Network instead? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys? Should the Southeast governors still go ahead with their own security uh, network, as it were, or should something else be done or the Eastern Security Network be given the uh, go-ahead, the support, the permission to carry out events or activities as it were? Well, be that as it is, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the early news. Thank you and bye for now.